Today I'm going to do a demonstration of the HST series heat detector tester with rate control option or rate compensation verification. First thing you want to do when you're testing a rate compensated heat detector is to determine the manufacturer model and temperature set point of the detector that you're testing. This particular detector is a Fenwall detectifier, 140 degrees Fahrenheit is the set point. The HST series heat detector tester can be used with set points up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit. Next thing you want to verify is that your HST series heat detector tester that you are using is the correct range for the detector that you're testing. The model we've chosen here is an HSTA ALO, which is good for testing 140, 160, 190, 210, and 225 degree detectors. This is user selectable via a switch here on the back panel. So since we have a 140 degree detector, we're going to set this to the lowest setting, which has already been done. It's on switch setting one. And then we are going to turn on the test. Make sure it's fully inserted. The detector is fully inserted. And we'll begin the test. The LED light here will light up steady, indicating that it's heating. And the temperature will show up here. We're connected to a multimeter via a cable to the HST here. So with the rate and compensation verification, we're going to heat up to 80 to 90 percent of the detector's set point. And then we're going to hold there for three minutes. So sometime as it's raising up here to that 80 to 90 percent temperature, we should see a trip, which we just did, at around 110 degrees. So 109, 110 degrees, we got a trip. The tester, the HST, will continue rising on the temperature. Once it stabilizes, we'll be watching for the detector to auto reset. What that means is that the heat will slowly penetrate into the struts of the detector, causing them to expand, and the detector will auto reset. This is how the rate compensation works, and this is how we verify the, verify the rate compensation. Looks like we're just about stabilized. Our timer has begun, our first stage timer. I can tell it's in first stage because the LED will blink once every 15 seconds. The auto reset just happened a few seconds ago, which is perfectly normal during this time while it's auto reset. If your detector was attached to a fire panel or to some other type of system, you would be watching that system now to make sure that the reset has occurred. So you would be resetting your fire panel or somehow watching that point to see that the status has switched. Once the three minute timer has finished, it will enter the second stage. The LED will then blink, it will come, it will come on steady and begin heating again. We'll, look, we'll watch for a second trip. It will go up to about 95% of the detector set point and it will enter second stage, at which time this will blink twice instead of once. But for now, at this point in the test, what we're watching for is for the timer to finish. Once the timer finishes, the temperature will begin climbing again and we'll, we'll listen for a trip. Okay, we can see by the LED lighting steady again that it's been three minutes since the initial first stage timer began and we are climbing again on our temperature. So now we are watching for a second trip. This time we got a trip at about 129, 130 degrees. A little bit higher than before. And we're waiting for the temperature to stabilize. It should stabilize somewhere between 90 and 95 percent of the detector's set point. Once it stabilizes, We'll wait again and watch for another auto reset.
we'll know that it's, when it starts to blink, we'll know that it's stabilized or very close to being stabilized. This time you notice that the LED is blinking twice every 15 seconds. That's how you can tell that you're in second stage. The auto reset has already happened, that's good. Now we just need to wait three minutes again for the second stage timer to time out and then we'll go for the third stage and final trip. Okay, we've uh, completed our second stage of the test. We're entering the third stage now. The LED is lit steady again. The temperature is climbing and we are going to watch for the third and final trip of the test. We have a trip at about 141 degrees. The HST tester will continue climbing now until it gets to around 148 degrees. Once we get to 148 degrees, we verify that we stay tripped. That is the conclusion of the test. Thank you for watching our video demonstration of the HST series heat detector tester. We've, uh, today we've gone over testing of rate compensated heat detectors with rate compensation verification. Watch us for uh, further how-to videos and, and how to properly test your, your fire alarm systems and heat detectors. Thanks for watching.